Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to calculate population density and population change in ArcGIS. So first of all, I have a map of Dolakha district. Let's open its attribute table. So in my attribute data, I have nine municipalities, total number of population, total number of household total male population and total female population of two different years 2011 and 2022 to calculate population density we need total population and area so let's see if our projection system is in projected coordinate system so to do that open properties go to source so here the projection system of this map is geographic coordinate system which is in angular unit that is degree so we need to change this into meter from projected coordinate system there are many ways to change the projection system for this we'll be using toolbox you can also go to search and type define project or go to toolbox and then data management tools projections and transformations and then select project so here it says input data set or feature class so our feature class is going to be the map itself and let's save it so I will save it inside practice and name it D-O-L-A-K-H-A D-O-L-A Dolakha PCS and output coordinate system I will select projected coordinate system go to UTM WGS 1984 Nepal is in northern hemisphere so I will select northern hemisphere and district Dolakha UTM zone of Nepal is from 44 to 45 if the uh, area that you are selecting is east to Pokhara then it's 45 and if it's west from Pokhara then it's 44 so I'm going to select UTM zone 45 UTM zone 45 and OK then again click OK now let's add the new projected map Dolakha mm, practice PCS ignore this message now you can hide this and close this now let's see if it's in so now it's in meters uh, the linear unit is in meters so now you can calculate the area in kilometers open attribute table add a field name it area I will put the type double and then leave it as it is let's see area okay so we have the area to calculate the area right click select and then calculate geometry yes now property is area so we want it in square kilometers click OK and yes you have the area of this map according to its municipalities so now the main part calculating population density for that go to table add field again population density 2021 I'll just write 20021 I will leave it in sort integer leave everything as it is and OK so now to calculate population density of 2021 right click again select 
right click to calculate the area we used calculate geometry so now to calculate population density we will be using field calculator yes so population density is total population by area okay so now we have population density of 2021 let's check population density of 2011 add field population density 0 1 1 sort integer as it is okay select this field calculator yes and then my 2011 po total population is sum total by area double click okay so again let's add another field and then check change in population density add field I'll just write density CHNG okay now we'll select this field calculator yes so to check the population density change I will simply subtract population density of 2011 by 2022 so population density of 2011 double click then minus single and then population density of 2011 okay so the change is here we have population density of 2021 population density of 2011 and population density change so you can use field calculator to do different things for example I can also add another field add field population change pop pop change sort integer okay so now I have population change I will simply check population change of 2021 and 2011 so fill calculator so population change total population minus sum of total population this total population is total population of 2022 and sum total is population of 2011 okay so here is the change population change of the local district from 2011 to 2021 so now you can add population density check population changes or density changes or any other changes that you want so now that you have everything you need don't forget to save it go to file and then save I have already saved it under practice so it doesn't show where it doesn't show the location or anything if you are if you haven't saved it then it will say it will give this option so you can choose where you want to save and then save it on our document Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.